All right, everyone. Continuing on this, the, just the general theme this 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 month, I guess, of uh, awesome background music. Glad to the people who really enjoyed music from the previous one. Uh, we got another one tonight, but uh, today the big thing is details of the JP side. Tales from the JP side. This music is far too epic for what we are talking about, but. It actually fits wonderfully with the first thing we're going to talk about tonight, uh, which is stuff that's new on the JP side. I'm just going to move that text also right live editing. Um, here we are. Anima is here. And as you can see, he's got an animation and he is looking pretty good. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about, first of all, I think we're just going to get in and talk about Anima, uh, the vision card and everything like that. First of all, fantastic artwork. Uh, as always, one thing I very rarely contest is how good the artwork is here. As for the vision card, we're going to talk about this vision card. So first of all, this is a top tier vision card. Uh, pretty much expected of a 90 cost, but holy cow, is this thing going to be essential for dark base teams into the future? I mean, it's just so much dark attack for both magic and physical. Uh, you're just going to want this. Uh, not only that, but um, from an early uh, snapshot, I was able to get off somebody else's account. Uh, the level 85 version of this, holy rice -aroni is the uh, stats just incredible here. So we have a 267 HP, 18 AP, 164 attack, 35 dexterity, 25 luck, 4 speed, and a partridge in a pear tree. But yeah, this is an incredibly overstatted vision card that is also going to be amazing when it hits level 100. So yeah, woof. Just um, gonna be really, really required into the future. Now, coming back, let's talk about Anima because Anima is also a prize that you get with the vision card. And I have to say this time around, the vision card is the real prize. Anima is just a uh, a really nice secondary prize. I mean, he has Disable on his attack, which is a very powerful status effect cause. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, moving on, though. Uh, summon magic, uh, attack up, hit rate up, evasion rate up, slash attack up, slash resistance, light attribute killer, and light resistance, and reaper killer. Very big Esper for basically killing off Light Slash. Uh, that's exactly what it's here for. Uh, it's an incredibly straightforward Esper. And being a 90 cost Esper, I expect this Esper to be incredibly good. Um, but not as good as the Vision card. I think the Vision card is way more important to get. Uh, there are tons of Slash Espers. And Anima is just a really cool awesome looking prize so yeah the vision card is the real prize here on the jp side it is 36k lapis to guarantee yourself getting it which is pretty high it is a pretty high cost uh, to be able to getting that i mean maybe you don't have the resources or whatever uh this is just going to be one of those ones where it's a little tough to get this esper as was dark chaos odin uh, recently was Chaos Odin, but now it's called Dark Odin. Anyway, great Esper. And that's what we need to say about that. So let's head to the next part of our talk, which is about our brand new character. Uh, by the way, I am going to be uh, finishing up my Halloween Leela review very shortly and uh, giving a final verdict on her. Uh, but uh, it is overwhelmingly positive. So let's talk about our new girl. And holy crap. <laughs> Pretty damn good. Uh, this is the friend unit version. My version, as you can see, I've got her up to 99 basically already. And I can foresee myself EXing her because, wow, is this character going to be great for a selection quest unit. And actually just an all around wind unit too. So taking a look at her stats, you can see pretty well balanced across the board, uh, even with the equipment that she has on right now. I think it's actually generally pretty nice. Press mastery, an axe. 
We only got the golden axe, but this I'll take this DMR. Uh, any more axes, as for its ability, uh, gives AP up upon regular attack. 20 AP up. So it's a pretty big AP regeneration. Love this. Love this for um, axe users. Uh, this is going to be great with runes. Cool. Super great. All right. Other than that, stat wise, uh, you know, some nice defense on her with the equipment. Uh, good amount of HP for a mid tier unit and an incredible amount of attack. I would have put this unit along with the idea of basically see more. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to do a full review on her later, but just the fact that she has Monk means she synergizes with Tifa, Sword synergizes with, well, obviously, Tubi, as well as um, Joom. So there's lots of synergy here with what is already going on in Wind. So awesome. Great free unit to get. Uh, just get... All of her stuff from uh, base, uh, well, most of her stuff from just doing the stuff in the game, and great build her. And she's basically, you know, with battle or summer kill's uh, main job, she has quite a lot of utility in her. So awesome! Like really super happy about that. And again, I'll do a full review on her this week. Uh, it will be coming very shortly into the future. All right, but we have other things to talk about. Um, yeah, let's uh, just head over here really quickly, show off the, some stuff to do with the tower. Big thing around this time with the tower. The new elemental ring, uh, of course, you can get a lot of the old stuff if you still need it. And uh, just to prove it, there's your coin pity for anima, just to prove that. A uh, new story update, some uh, new farms to do with the a brand new character. Uh, the Also, with the addition of a brand new Esper means brand new Esper fights. And if we scroll down here, I've already completed Anima. Anima was actually a pretty easy fight uh, with light evasion. A really easy Esper to do. Lucio also made it really easy, so no worries about that. And uh, I guess, I guess the one more thing we need to talk about uh, was just this, the Porcelain Tower. And the Porcelain Tower is back with a vengeance. So really quickly, as you can see, we've already beat two of the floors on our way up to floor 70. We'll talk about floor 70 in a second. I'll just go over the two floors I have done plus the one floor I've already failed at. So first of all, uh, Lightning Floor, uh, Oberyn, uh, I think I can just show the party I use if I went go in here. Uh, this was the party I used. A um, little bit close on some of the damage from the birds as well as Skahal, uh, but was able to get through it on stream relatively easy in a single go. Next up was this stage. Um, the archers have uh, reaction abilities, which are really annoying. Uh, but with my light team, I found myself about 50% successful. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this was my light team. Yuna was pretty crucial to have just a some kind of a healer around. Because uh, the archers were dealing a fair amount of damage. And I would have lost units if it hadn't been for heals and Yuna's reaction command. So she was really important for the stage. Other than that, enemies weren't too tough. Duan went down like a biatch. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Next up, floor 63. And this is where the bullshit starts. Uh, we're Okay. We're, this is, video is just becoming less friendly the longer we go. Uh, the big thing to do with this floor, as you can see here, we have Barris as well as a bunch of mages. Uh, or, yeah, these mages right here. And uh, some thieves as well as dragons. Uh, this entire floor is crap. Uh, it starts you right in the middle of a map. And uh, let me tell you right now, uh, the mages are your worst enemy in this uh, because they have large AoE disable and it is incredibly accurate at screwing over your units. Uh, it's really hard to also get enough time to go away. So this is just a bullshit floor kind of meant to just kill off 
a bunch of your characters. Uh, I actually on stream tried this and my entire team got disabled and that was kind of the end of the mission for me. I just quit out and going to try again later. But this floor also there is confusion on some of the enemies. So this is just a status of like a status effect floor. Really annoying, not much fun and uh, just woof, just woof, man really not looking not sure how i'm gonna get through this one but we will eventually uh next up floor fire floor so using water if you have a story in celeste i don't think this will be difficult at all oh also should be noted minwoo's uh tmr is good for floor 63 if you have it don't like um floor 65 astoria plus omega plus a bunch of dark water and thunder units this is just kind of a hodgepodge i don't know what's going to be really good here and i probably won't have a good idea till i get in and fight it and lose a couple of units next up wind elemental with double gold armons gargus and Joom. in case this wasn't enough not really looking forward forward to floor 67 which has two Marlboros, super Marlboros, as well as cactars woof and i'm sure that these guys all have something cheap with them oh look there's another couple of arithmeticians i wonder if they'll have disable all right moving on we have a light floor with mashery rob and camillo i think this will probably be a pretty straightforward floor but you know it's it's kind of hard to say uh, continuing on, floor 69, haha, funny number, uh, water elemental floor, uh, summer Elsie, rage has, and just a bunch of damage dealers. I don't know if this is going to be incredibly difficult or not. We'll have to wait and see. And don't ask about 70th floor EX because we don't know what it is yet, but, uh, because no one's got there even close. Uh, this floor is also going to be really nasty. We have Glacial Bird for Stop, Sandworm for Durability, Chaos Odin for Evasion, and we have Energist, 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 a uh, couple of archers, and two others that I can't quite make out their icon. Hold on. Oh, it looks like Spellblade, so similar to Rachel's. I need to maybe just guess this. A bit. There we go. So yeah, that's Porcelain Tower. I don't know how bad Floor 70 EX will be, but you can damn be sure that it is really nasty. Floor 70 is listed as a 120 job level 25. Um, I have to say Porcelain Tower, while I'm really happy to see it back, challenging content, it, it just needs to stop being time limited at this point. It really does. And more than that, it just needs to kind of lay off with dirty tricks. At this point, it's starting to feel really obvious that they don't know how to make this really any more difficult than just playing uh, some dirty tricks on uh, certain floors. Uh, other floors, I think, are actually pretty fair and... Kind of, you can just work through them easily enough uh, with a, some challenge in there. But this, uh, some of this is just nasty when they're just, uh, it's just like a, oh, you get disabled no matter where you go. Or you get confusion and it's just status effects and it's screw you if you don't have the right item, vision card, or character. And that just feels bad. It should be a little more universal than that. So yeah, um, that's a... I think a valid complaint against the way Porcelain Tower has been designed, but you know what? We're going to get through it. We're going to beat this enough because uh, can't let Gumi win. Anyway, so that's a preview of some of the stuff, or, well, some of the stuff, uh, minus some reviews that I'm going to do a little bit later and in the week, but that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.